trade my life for a different scene An old milk cow for some magic beans What would I give, what would I trade? It's a question of passion that it is I love you girl or excuse me miss Did I get by or make a grade? Welcome to Eagle Vision for Wednesday, October 9th, 2019. I'm Trent. Today's top story highlights National Anti-Bully Month. Every day, thousands of students experience bullying from their peers while at school, after school, in their neighborhoods, and when they're home through social media and text. There are many ways to support bullying prevention as an individual or with friends and family and within your school or community. October is National Bullying Prevention Month. Today, we're going to focus on physical bullying. Physical bullying is any bullying that hurts someone's body or damages their possessions. Stealing, shoving, hitting, fighting, and destroying property are all types of physical bullying. Physical bullying is rarely the first form of bullying that a target will experience. Often, bullying will begin in a different form and progress to physical violence. We have some environmental news this morning. Scientists have been puzzled about the strange disappearance of birds across the Americas. There are birds in North America and Canada that are just vanishing. Scientists have studied and found that there have been 3 billion or 29% of the birds population that has disappeared in the past half century. Studies have proven that 500 species since 1970 are becoming vulnerable to extinction, even traditionally common birds such as robins and sparrows. A couple of the likely causes to this phenomenon are the loss of their habitats and the large use of pesticides. Kevin Gatson, a conservation biologist of the University of Exeter, is even calling this the loss of nature. September 15th through October 15th is Hispanic Heritage Month, and Eagle Vision is featuring several segments that explore Hispanic culture. Today we are looking at the country of Peru. is a country in western South America. It is bordered in the north by Ecuador and Colombia, in the east by Brazil, in the southeast by Bolivia, in the south by Chile, and in the west by the Pacific Ocean. Peru is a mega diverse country with habitats ranging from the arid plains in the west to the peaks of the Andes Mountains. The state of Peru is a representative democratic republic divided into 25 regions. It is classified as an emerging market with a high level of human development. It is one of the region's most prosperous economies with an average growth rate of 5.9%. And it has one of the world's fastest industrial growth rates at an average of 9.6%. Peru has a population of 35 million, which includes Aero Indians, Europeans, Africans, and Asians. The main spoken language is Spanish, although a significant number of Peruvians speak other indigenous languages. This mixture of cultural traditions has resulted in a wide diversity of expressions and fields such as art, cuisine, literature, and music. Seniors, we've got some events for you coming up in October. These are just seniors, so no freshmen, juniors, or sophomores. I don't know why I said it like that. But Miss Winston's got these events for you. Hi, yeah, so this is going to be a really busy month for seniors with lots of opportunities. Um, first of all, just let me remind you about the ASFAB. Sign up for the ASFAB is going to be through the 10th of this month. And then October 21st, we're having a college application day. This is brand new, first time we've done it, but we're going to be taking students into the library for second block and helping you apply for colleges. So you'll be able to sign up for this. Space is limited, but we'll have a sign up sheet in the Commons and we'll keep it out there until we have the spots filled. Um, October 23rd, 
from 10 to 11, we are going to the Career Expo at the Lander Center. This was normally just for middle schools, but this year they opened it up for seniors. And this is for kids that haven't quite decided what they want to do yet when they get out of high school. Um, there'll be a lot of representatives there from architecture, engineering, finance, health and science. So if you don't know what you want to do yet, you can sign up for this. Again, space is limited. We'll keep the sign-up sheets in the commons on this table until we have the kids that we need. And then October 20, October 31st, we are doing the We Are Northwest tour in Senatobia. If when you talk to your when you talk to your counselor during your one-on-one -on -one talks, you expressed an interest in going to Northwest, you will get an invitation to go on this tour. This is a full day event. Um, you'll get to tour the departments of what your major is going to be, have lunch, and then come back. And then finally, looking ahead on November 4th, the HBCU College Fair is going to be in South Haven during the day, so we will take kids to that also. Sign up for that will be a little bit later in this month. So keep in mind also as you sign up for these events that field trips are really a privilege and if you are failing any core classes or if you have major discipline problems, you will not be allowed to go with us. If you have any questions at all about any of these events, just see your counselor. It's now time for today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Mackenzie Malone, Riley Scott, Billy Swain Jr., Jasmine Wims, and Frederick Young Jr. Happy birthday. If you were a beta member last year, you will not receive another invitation to join. You should stop by Miss George's or Miss Jones' room to pay your renewed fee to maintain your membership. Congratulations to the marching band for getting second in class at the Call Your Veal contest. Horn Lake Soccer Team is putting on a video game tournament as a fundraiser to raise money for the team. The winner of each game will receive a trophy. The cost of entry is $10 for one game, $15 for two, and $20 for all three. There will be drinks and snacks sold also. The cutoff date is tomorrow at lunch. Horn Lake's Got Talent will be held on November 8th. Registration is $30 and is due at the contestant and parent meeting on October 25th, 2019. You may have to register for this event October 7th through October 23rd. Videos and music must be submit submitted by October 25th. That's it for today's episode. Here at Horn Lake, we are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day.